and welcome to the Smash News Network, least busted name in news. It's meteorology time. Let's do it. Hear the jet streams. Hear the jet streams here at a, at a western world. And here's, here's the U.S. jet stream situation there. All right. There's the jet stream. This cold air, it's making Maine real cold over here. And it's not exactly warm in New Jersey either. Coming all the way down here to North Carolina, it ain't so warm down there. Now, there's the western world. Here's the Cyphus winds on this side of the planet, see? Muggsy said, if you don't know the password to get across this massive wind gradient in the Atlantic Ocean, it's chitons for you. Chitons, see? Chitons. Let us know your fa favorite old-timey underused terms in the comments. Which do you like best? Malarkey, hogwash, or poppycock? Malarkey becoming a very popular term around the world thanks to no malarkey Joe Biden. Remember the no malarkey bus, folks. No malarkey Joe. Shout out to no malarkey Joe. <laughs> no malarkey coming from that guy. Check out the surface winds of the eastern world. It's pretty windy around the Pacific Rim. Yowzers. Jet streams? There you go. We've got a doubled up jet stream over the Southern Ocean. It's summertime down there, folks. Summertime. Not so much around the Aleutian Islands. Check it out. There's a weak low pressure system right there. Next year, 72 hour lower 48 forecast. Most of our viewers are in the U.S. If you've got requests for more in-depth weather forecasts at another location, drop us a line. We'll consider it. 72-hour precipitation and pressure forecast here based on the GFS model. A low will develop in southwestern South Dakota at the end of this model. Next, we're going to show you a temperature forecast. Temperature forecast based on the Euro model for the next 72 hours. We're just going to let this advance. Talk about how you should join the Smash team and how you should indeed. Mensa. Yeah, Mensa. Make Earth not suck again. It's up to you. More on that later. Putting the moron in more on that later. Anyway, here's temperature going into Friday the 14th. It's going to be getting cold again this coming weekend. There's where the Euro forecast has temperatures at 12 noon on Saturday. Here's your weather.gov map. If your county's lit, just click it. It's a looking like it's a little bit too moist in the Pacific Northwest and pretty cold in the Northeast. Anyway, there's Alaska and Hawaii. They've got some, what is going on there? Some high surf warnings. By the way, we shared a crazy story on our Instagram. Some guy, one of the craziest wipeouts you've ever seen in your life. I think the wave was about 80 foot. Instagram.com slash smash a mash. Exclusive content there, despite it being a property of Meta, one of the most pathetic software manufacturers on earth. Meta. They want to make your virtual world without being able to make Facebook and Instagram function correctly. Yes. A virtual world that, as people unplug, sneer at. Anyway, there's lightning. Here's real-time lightning. Mark Zuckerberg, even more out of touch than your favorite 
than your favorite ineffective middle management type personnel. Let us know who your favorite governor is in the comments. All right, so this video was originally streamed live to Twitch. We stream live to Twitch regularly at the Smash News Network, Least Busted Name and News. It's such a good live streaming platform that we just use it on the regs. Thanks to our followers over there. Please host the channel. We're also on BitChute. We're basically putting videos up there to invite viewers to view on other platforms. There's plenty of censorship on some, quote, platforms, end quote. Some, quote, platforms, end quote, aren't platforms. They're political megaphones for somebody. Anyway, we used to have 200 followers on Twitter. Now we've got less. They vanish slightly more quickly than they arrive. Also on Getter. Check it out. Oh, my God. Tucker Carlson has joined Getter. I'm so excited. I'm so interested in what Tucker Carlson has to say that I'm just, oh, I just, a, a thrill goes up my leg. Just kidding, folks. I don't watch cable news, so I have no idea what Tucker Carlson's talking about. I just don't particularly care. Although I am interested in this. Military documents about gain of function research contradict Fauci testimony under oath. Inter isn't that interesting? Thanks to all of our YouTube viewers who put up with the, pathet the pathetic and putrid censorship on the platform. YouTube, please fix the software. This is an apolitical channel. We don't appreciate the uh, whatever sort of thumb on the scale situations going on. And as a result of Facebook, we created our own websites like smashandmash.com. We replaced Patreon with our own subscription service, smashandmash.com slash smash team. It's vastly superior to Patreon. So become a subscribed member over there. Today's featured product is Mensa. I'm wearing the hat. I'm wearing the hat, folks. I'm trying to do my part here to make Earth not suck again. Please do yours. Help us out by picking up some merch. Yeah, even masks, because that those totally make Earth not suck again, right? <laughs> it's it's an ironic mask. You could get a metal print for <laughs> for sixty three bucks. How about a Mensa mini skirt? I've yet to see one of those. Somebody please pick up a Mensa mini skirt. Or perhaps a baseball hat. By the way, the baseball hats are very well made. They're 100% polyester. Baited chad. Chad. They baited chad. Okay. But they're printed in the U.S. So if that makes you feel better. Polyester hats. They're quite durable. Like the one the pros wear. Like the one I wear. Mensa. Make Earth not suck again. It's up to you, not giant heaving bureaucracies that can't get out of their own way. Next, the Pacific Ocean water vapor scenario. Here you go. And we've got a huge pressure ridge there off the coast of California. It's pretty anomalous looking. Also a powerful, yet not moist, upper level low. Check out this upper level low here. This clockwise rotation characteristic of a low pressure in the southern hemisphere. But it's dry. There's no moisture. It's a dry, dry low. Anyway, this pressure gradient here off of Baja, California is interesting. As you can see, there is a similar upper level low right there, rotating to the counterclockwise because it's in the northern hemisphere. However, there is dry, massive air abutting the moisture. So here's some moisture. But this is a high... Anyway. It's a high... It's a... It's an anomalous low pressure. I'll just say that. A bunch of moisture leaking into the U.S. here. Driving into Oregon and Washington once again. Next year, U.S. Doppler radar. Continued precipitation in southern Alaska. The Pacific Northwest. And the northern Great Lakes region. Some precipitation over Texas. Is that some snow I see? Is it snowing in Texas? I think it's snowing in Texas, folks.
Anyway, we'll focus on the lower 48 here. Here is the shortwave radiation map. It's too dark to see clouds and fog with the visible satellite, so there is the short wave. Lots of low clouds over the eastern seaboard and central Gulf of Mexico, low clouds. Water vapor. We've got a strong band of dry, massive air here. This is all a high pressure. And that's going to cause any of this moisture to come down here and crash, becoming precipitation. Cold, moist air. It's coming. Anyway, here's a recap. There's a US Doppler radar map. There is clouds and fog, the shortwave radiation, 3.9 nanometers. There's the water vapor. Congratulations on realizing that the channel exists. I've been your host, Dan, a.k.a. Smash and Mash, signing off from the Smash News Network, least busted name in news.